there. How are you doing? Me? Me, I can't breathe. No, by the way, I, I just, I... <sighs> Fellow Nairobians, I can't breathe. To the nurses and doctors who wear this thing for hours on end, for days and weeks and months, my my hat off to you. I can't breathe. I don't know whether I'm alone, but I cannot breathe. I think this this was done to ensure that we also, once again, don't roam around. So, I guess by now you've already figured what has happened is Nairobi is in quarantine. So the rest of the country was locked out, and we thought so, and then we realized, no, Nairobi was locked in. Mm, sour. I totally understand and I agree. I want to talk about things that we need to be doing on top of everything we need to do around COVID-19. And I'm concerned that we seem to have um, accepted our new normal, but we have also negated and thrown away the things we need to do anyway. I'm going to start with the most simple ones. You must shower. You must brush your teeth. You must get dressed. You can't just say, because Akuna Malinenda, I will not shower. I will not brush my teeth. It's not good for you. It's not good for your soul. Okay. If your favorite thing is wearing, mine is lipstick, but I realize all my lipstick ends up here. Because um, I always wear something. Then do it. Your brain needs it. I also need you to do something for your mind and something for your heart every day. If you used to work out, continue. If you live in an apartment block, go up and down. You need the endorphin high. You need that little endorphin thingy going. Otherwise, your mental health is going to be compromised in a big way. But you also need something for your brain. You can't just do this with a remote and be on Netflix nonstop. Watch a documentary. Um, go, go on to Coursera and find a course and do it. I've never learned how to code. I'm on Python. I'm going to learn how to code. I've always said I must learn how to code. Do it. Um, please don't drink before your normal drinking time. If you used to go for a drink on Fridays only, and you'd only have your first drink at 5.30 or 6, please don't drink more than usual. I know we have been drinking more than usual. But of all things, number one, I don't want you to come out the other side of this as a functional alcoholic. And worse still, I hope you know that the more you drink, the more you compromise and suppress your own immunity. Okay? But you're trying to beat the virus, which means you must be in warrior state. You're fighting a war. And if all of us are soldiers, then our chances are greater. If certain members of our army, of our troop, of our battalion, have compromised mental health, compromised physical health, emotional health, um, then we've got a problem. But I want to talk to the other things that we must continue to do. And all I'm talking about is the things we must continue to do on top of accepting our new normal. It doesn't mean you discard what is true to life. I'm gonna show you something. This is my car insurance sticker. Obviously, you know I printed a second one for this because the proper one is sitting um, in on, 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 on my windscreen. I want you, and I hope you can see this. Can you see the date? It's the 30th of March. Until Saturday, I was driving without valid insurance, in spite of the fact that I had the insurance. Why? Because our police force is so bent up on checking that I'm wearing a mask, they've forgotten to check whether I have got valid insurance. I remember being stopped. Sasa, as usual. Abaria Radio Africa. Uh huh. Uko job leon kasama. Yes, I have a three day rotation, so today was my day. Huh? Kosa, mask nayo, sinimeva. Aye, you take it. Sawa, sawa, stasis. And you know, when he went to check my windscreen, I was a little bit like, because he did. He walked to my windscreen and then he said, Sasa. And I was like, because it's the first time it occurred to me, mm, Caroline, you don't have the right sticker on this car. So one of the things I did in, in March is that I said, I'm going to get rid of certain expenses that must be taken care of. Insurance was one of them. Okay, because really, do I, do I need the drama? No. 
And it's only when I got home, I actually checked my windscreen. You know that one of your heart is doing this, 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 this. And I checked and sure enough, my insurance had expired. He hadn't noticed. He was more interested in whether I was wearing a mask or not. Can we also continue to police? The world still needs, Kenya still needs, Nairobi still needs the police to still look out for criminals and lawbreakers. The coronavirus does not mean that the law has been suspended. Okay. And the other thing goes to security checks. I went um, to, remember I told you I had to go and buy an inhaler? Actually, what I did was I bought, I got the prescription and I bought three. And I realized as I went into um, the mall, I'm not going to say which one, I get this whole thing of, you know, not touching people's car handles because, you know, I don't know what you've touched before you touch my handle. I'll touch my handle. I understand. We don't want to create a contagion situation. But even as I went through the usual metal detector, as I walked into the mall, I realized I could be carrying two grenades and a submachine gun and nobody is going to care so long as I sanitize and I have a mask. Guys, we've still got to do work. Thugs are not necessarily on leave. Maybe they can't move when they used to, which is about 7 p.m. But I remember I used to be told, you know, long ago that those hours between 9 and p.m. and 4 a.m. It's only three sorts of people on the road. Police, Mwizi, Nasiju, Nani, Mwengine, Mbwa. I don't know. But it cannot be that we have suspended all logic. We cannot do that. Um, I'm sure the thugs are afraid of catching corona because they don't want to go and join their friends in hell because that's where they're going and say, what happened? And like, nearly, I got a Naka virus. No, you know, you need to go down in a blaze of glory. But I, I'm asking you, just start with yourself. Shower, brush your teeth, dress, okay? You know, pick, pick you up. Do something for your brain and for your health. Do not decide this is a new excuse to start drinking at midday. I usually will have my first glass of wine on a Friday. And it's still a glass. There, I mean, I'll tell you what I'm drinking more, water. I used to say, I want to get up. I want to get up to two liters of water a day. I'm at 2.5. I could be heading for three. And I'm loving it. I mean, you keep commenting on my skin. And I don't know how to tell you. It's water. But you know, we are home. That means it doesn't matter how much I got to pee. I, I'm at home. I can pee. But um, we cannot suspend with logic and with life. We cannot suspend with law. We cannot suspend with insurance. We cannot suspend with the things that keep life going. Okay? So please, if you do nothing else, ensure that you're getting an endorphin high and you're feeding your brain. Feed your soul, feed your heart. I, you know, I told you the other day, I'm loving um, Showmax, but I'm also not overindulging um, with the newsfeed. Because I, I watch Al Jazeera, I watch BBC, I watch CNN, I'm like, no, 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 no. And you're Catholic like me. Honestly, you watch the news, you start crossing yourself, you're like, what? So I, I know I need to be in the know, but I'm not overdoing it. I'm not overdoing it. Do not suspend and do away with what is right, what is necessary. And if it's good for you, do more of it. If it's bad for you, like drinking, do less of it. But start by, I, I'm still, I don't wake up at five anymore, but I'm up by 6.30 and I still walk. I still walk. Well, I walk and Luko's dogs, but I still walk. And I think it is important that we do not suspend the things that matter. Meanwhile, I wanted to go on record. I can't breathe. And um, I'm fascinated to see that we can actually operate with 53 members of parliament. Man, if this was an organization, the move to cut would have been immediate. Mm -hmm. Look after yourself. Do the five. I'm sure you know the five by now. Eh? If you're going to cough, cough into an elbow. When it comes to your hands, make sure you wash them. When it comes to your face, make sure you don't touch it. 
you know, when it comes to as basic things as, you know, staying at home, do that. And if you're going to be around people, keep that one to two meter separation. We're going to be just fine. I think we are. It's going to be tough, but we're going to be fine. Take care. Oh,